I'm just gonna warm up for a minute. So. Yeah, no problem. Perfect. My name is Michael Patrick Mahan. Um, I go by Mickey and I have um, appropriated the persona and the sobriquet of the flying busman. So I call myself Mickey the flying busman. My wife calls me monkey and my good buddy calls me sea dog. Good morning poetry lovers. I'll make this, I'll make this quick. Our friend Romy is here from National Geographic. They're doing a special on bus drivers with funny mustaches. So we, I promised there were a dramatic reading of today's poem. I came to Syracuse in the mid 80s to attend graduate school at Syracuse University in the English literature program. End of October, 5.30 p.m. The air alive with leaves riding the wind. Red, yellow, brown, pink, yellow, orange. I graduated and the original idea was that I would teach English eventually. I stayed on one more year after earning my degree and taught um, again in the writing program thinking that maybe it would be a different situation, uh, more amenable if I wasn't taking my own classes. But I, after that year of teaching, I decided that the classroom and the university environment weren't for me, so I left. <laughs> So I worked part-time for my buddy in a bookstore and I saw one day I was sitting in a coffee shop looking through the classifieds and I saw that the local transit bus company was hiring part-time bus drivers and I was only working part-time at the bookstore and the job paid well and I thought why not you know I can drive bus part-time work in the bookstore part-time so I applied for the job and I thought and, and I was hired part as a part-time bus driver and I thought and I took the job thinking that uh, I'd do it until I figured out what I really wanted to do with my life. Well, that was almost 30 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> and I'm still trucking. Where the heart beats on autopilot. Woo! Oh, <laughs> It just amazes me how once you get involved in the process, the process kind of takes over and creates something uh, uh, oftentimes that you have not intended. And that I find that true in art and in, in, in writing poetry. Um, sometimes it just does what it wants to do and you're just along for the ride. And in fact, that's the case most of the time, really. Well, driving a bus, it can be a hoot. I wear my uniform like a monkey suit. I tip my hat to the ladies if I'm wearing one and let my bald head shine like the rising sun. I also get asked occasionally, <laughs> this is a, a bit of an odd question, I, I think, um, but people ask me why I'm so happy or what makes me so happy. <laughs> Um, and the, the, the answer is fundamentally that I, I, I make myself happy because I decide every day that I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happier every day, happier than the day before until the God of happiness subsumes me bodily into happy heaven. But I, I would also add that It seems to me there's a very simple formula for people who like formulas to kind of work from, and, and we do occasionally. And the formula that, that we've come up with is this, for happiness. It's very simple. Be who you are and do what you love. That is what we call the being and doing of happiness. 
And if none of that works, Bye. you can always drink beer. I'm flying low to the ground. I'm the flying buzz man. I'm flying all around town.